On October 18, 2023, Relatives Ukrainian Azov Regiment Prisoners of War held a rally on Hagia Sophia Square in Kiev, calling for an immediate exchange with Russian prisoners war. Prisoner exchanges between Ukraine and Russia are rare. While more than 2,500 Ukrainians have been released, up to 10,000 are believed to be detained in Russia. Their fate is unknown. However, Media reported that former Ukrainian detainees testified that they were subjected to torture, including frequent beatings and electric shocks, while in custody at a detention facility in southwestern Russia. This would constitute a serious violation of international humanitarian law. Earlier this year the BBC interviewed several former detainees released in prisoner swaps who claimed to have been physically and psychologically abused by Russian officers and guards. The ill treatment is said to have taken place at pretrial detention facility number two in the city of Taganrog, one of the places where Ukrainian prisoners of war were kept in Russia. Relatives Ukrainian Azov Regiment prisoners war hold banners during a rally calling for a quick Exchange for Russian Prisoners War on Hagia Sophia Square in Kiev. October 18, 2023. Amid the Russian invasion Ukraine. AFP via reports of detainees being mistreated are not new. In November 2022, Matilda Bogner, head UN Human Rights Monitoring Mission in Ukraine presented the results of her interviews with 159 prisoners war held by Russian Federation. Commenting on the findings, Ms. Bogner noted, some Ukrainian POWs were beaten or had their personal belongings looted. Immediately after capture, the POWs were then transferred to places of detention, causing concern. They were often taken in overcrowded trucks or buses and sometimes had no access to water or toilets for more than a day. His hands were tied and his eyes were covered with duct tape so tightly that he was left with wounds on his wrists and face. He added on arrival at certain places of detention, POWs were subjected to so-called reception procedures, which often included prolonged beatings, threats, dog attacks, stripping and being placed in stress positions. Witnesses told us that in mid-April 2022, in the penal colony near Olenivka he described the death of at least one prisoner of war during an reception procedure. We received information about eight more such alleged deaths there in April 2022 and are working to correct them. As Ms. Bogner explained, the vast majority of those her team interviewed stated that they had been subjected to torture and Ill treatment while in custody. Torture and ill treatment are said have been used to coerce prisoners of war into giving military information or testimony about alleged crimes, as well as intimidate and humiliate them. Prisoners of war described being beaten with sticks, wooden hammers, kicked, and given electric shocks with tasers, a military telephone known as TA Pick. A man interviewed Ms. Bogner's team testified about 